So in Jurassic Park, two of the most popular dinosaurs appear in almost every single canon entry. These of course being the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Triceratops. But for some reason, we've never actually seen these two dinosaurs battle or even interact with one another in the now 27 years since the first movie came out in 1993. Sure, it's true that we've seen them fight in some video games like the 2011 Telltale title, but for some reason, despite these two dinosaurs actually being proven time and time again to have been mortal enemies in the real world, we have still yet to see them together in a scene. Well, for today's video, I wanted to go into why that is and ask the question on whether or not we actually will get to see this happen sometime soon in the future. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now, when it comes to the Jurassic Park franchise, they've done a pretty good job at introducing relatively obscure or even unheard of dinosaurs to the wider public through a litany of iconic scenes. For the first movie, animals like the Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus weren't exactly household names, and now whenever we see someone talk about or reference one of those creatures in the wider pop culture, we of course see things like insanely high intelligence and exotic venom spinning correspond to both of those dinosaurs respectively. But what's kind of interesting when it comes to some of the more historically popular animals is the fact that Jurassic has always tried to sort of steer away from doing the more expected things when it comes to those guys. Case in point, the T-Rex versus Triceratops battle that we're talking about today. Ironically though, I think if the franchise ever really did commit to this fight in a scene for a Jurassic movie, I'm pretty sure loads of people would have had the biggest smiles on their faces. If not solely for the fact that it's something of a tradition with dinosaur films dating back several years, but also because it's paleontologically accurate to what we know went down in the Mesozoic era. Just recently, two nearly complete skeletons were found in Montana that happen to be dated at 67 million years old, in which a small Tyrannosaurus and a Triceratops were discovered buried together in what is being described as a pretty evident death duel. The Rex happened to have one of its fingers broken, most of its teeth busted, and a cracked skull, while the trike died with its opponent's teeth embedded in its spine. Both of these skeletons are not only some of the most complete dinosaur fossils ever found, but they both also happen to be laying on top of one another, totally articulated. If this isn't pretty obvious evidence that the dinosaurs came into contact with one another and frequently did battle, well look, I'm no paleontologist, but I don't know what could possibly be any clearer. I think it's interesting that in the Jurassic Park movie series as a whole, what we usually see is a big theropod going up against another big theropod. This was done in JP3 with the Rex losing to a Spinosaurus, and also done in Jurassic World where the Rex goes up against the hybrid abomination that was the Indominus Rex. However, that same movie also gave us a pretty noteworthy scene where the Irex went up against an Ankylosaurus and happened to actually show off something relatively different from what we were used to. Fallen Kingdom also offered up the Carnotaurus fight that broke out between it and the Sino, and of course who could forget the moment that the Rex took down two raptors in the original movie. Although I'd personally say that this particular moment wasn't much of a fight at all. Paleontological focus is something that I don't honestly think I can say has ever been legitimate when it comes to pairing up animals from specific time periods that we know actually did indeed live together and fight one another in the real world. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but I do think that seeing this sort of interaction between two of the most popular dinosaurs in the history of science would undoubtedly be entertaining. Although I can also understand it feeling a bit stale to some audience members out there. Jurassic Park never really went out of its way to say that the Rex was a scavenger exclusively in the films either, and because of that, they always stuck to it being a hunter, so they kind of avoided the now absurd idea that this animal walked around eating dead stuff and only dead stuff when it was alive. Which is why I think even if they did show it fighting a trike, it wouldn't exactly be like a revolutionary scientific marvel or anything. We've seen it hunt stuff, we've seen it fight stuff, so... Even if we apply something paleontologically interesting from a real world standpoint, like a battle between these two, I don't know, I mean, it'd be more like, yeah, of course a T-Rex fights a Triceratops. Why wouldn't it? Currently, the one major time this battle actually has gone down in a Jurassic Park story has been in the aforementioned Telltale game from 2011, which personally I think played out rather well and gave us a fun little sight to 
watch. That being said, it was also not exactly something that was heavily focused on, and it takes place within a very questionable game when it comes to the timeline of canon events. That being said, the T-Rex won and all that was left of its enemy happened to be some bloody horns after all was said and done. We didn't even get to see it make the final blow, which in my opinion, although I thought the fight was cool, it's kind of a lame way to end it to be completely honest. With Jurassic World Dominion going out of its way to market itself as one of the more paleontologically accurate films in the franchise, I think showing the audience a real battle between these two prehistoric beasts would be excellent, but hey, there's no real evidence to say that this will happen or even be touched upon in the next movie. But hey, there's always Camp Cretaceous though, or that new live action series they teased us with last year, so who knows. Anyways guys, what are all of your thoughts on the subject matter? Would you like to see someone like say Steve Rusati come in and help the filmmakers craft a behaviorally specific battle between the T-Rex and a Triceratops? Or are you someone who would rather see something a bit more exotic like what we've gotten ever since 1993? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them. In the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that all of you continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.